With people staying at home all over the world, there are animals in places you don't usually see them and cleaner air. And here in the Northeast, there are numbers back that up. This map from NASA shows a drop in air pollution across the region. As meteorologist Pete Mangione tells us, the Rhode Island DEM is noticing a similar trend. Less traffic on the roads these days seems to be leading to better air quality. At first, seeing the quiet streets of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts was strange. Now, it's almost become an ordinary sight. We know car traffic's down um, substantially, maybe about 50%. Darren Austin from the Rhode Island DEM says this seems to be lowering the amount of air pollution. He sifted through data on very small pollution particles called PM2.5 and also nitrogen dioxide. Both tend to cause pollution problems here in Rhode Island, and both showed a drop in numbers. PM 2.5 was about 20% lower, and nitrogen dioxide was about 30% down. So our air quality is really heavily driven in Rhode Island um, by our weather patterns. Which is why the data need to be taken with a grain of salt, or maybe dust. Much of our air pollution actually comes from the New York City metro area, and the recent stormy weather would probably put a dent in our pollution anyway. When things are moving around, it really dilutes uh, any air pollution problems we would have. To analyze the data, Austin looked at a monitoring site near I-95, aptly named Near Road, and compared the past month with about the same time period for the past five years, three years, and last year. The typically warm months of ozone season start in May and continue into September. But it'll be very interesting to see how the ozone season plays out with the major reductions in these precursor pollutants, the pollutants that lead to the formation of ozone. As for the long-term effects on the air quality, it is way too early to know that. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.